Hi, my name is Jackie Farron with Online Teaching Now, and today we are going to schedule and prepare for our Magic Years mini demo. The mini demo is the second part of the hiring process, consisting of a five minute interview, followed by an eight to 10 minute demo lesson, and a few minutes of wrap up. In this video, I will show you how to schedule the demo lesson, how to prepare for it, and lastly, how to use the teaching software. Stay tuned for the next video in this series where you will actually watch me go through the Magic Ears mini demo and hopefully pass it. Let's get this demo scheduled. So we're gonna pick up exactly where we left off in the previous sign up video, which is in our teacher portal, looking at where we are in the hiring process. So let me minimize my thumbnail video real quick and show you that it has this helpful timeline with each stage of the hiring process for us. So we've seen that we've done the basic info section, then now we're doing the mini demo, which should take 25 minutes, followed by training, trial class, and contract, which we'll cover in future videos. The first thing we see here is schedule your mini demo. We have two choices, the live demo and the recorded demo. The live demo is recommended by Magic Gears because they've actually found that many more applicants pass than in the recorded demo. So we're gonna go ahead and do the live demo. I want to do my trial class on Tuesday, the 7th of May, so I'm going to click to book. And I see all of these available time slots. So I have no idea if uh, I can rebook this, so I'm gonna make sure that I choose a time slot that works for me. And that is going to be, dun, 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 dun. 5.30 to 5.55, why not? <laughs> so I click that, it highlights it purple, and I click confirm. That's May 7th, 2019, confirm. Congratulations, you have successfully scheduled your live demo. Wonderful, there's a countdown. There's Beijing time and local time, great. All right, what do I need to prepare before the demo? And I want to reschedule the live demo, so that's good to know. Now that we've got our demo scheduled, let's prepare for it. They start us off with three helpful bullet points. Number one, download the teaching platform. Two, evaluation standards broken up by technical, teaching, and personality. And then lastly, helpful videos. The first thing we're gonna do is download the teaching platform by clicking download. Once that's done, we're going to navigate to the setup.exe file to install the program on our computer. And it's a fairly straightforward process. We're gonna go ahead and click next through all the prompts. We're gonna leave everything as default. And it installs as we expect it to. So we're gonna click finish and that's going to create an icon on our desktop. Now that we've successfully installed the Magic Years teaching platform, it's time for step two. Evaluation standards. So I will show you my technical setup right now. Here is my teaching classroom. As you can see, I have a lot of lighting. I bought two standing desk lamps in addition to the overhead lamp, in addition to this skylight that I have in my office. Here I'm connected by ethernet cable. So that is a requirement of magic years. So as you can see, I have the bright and even lighting, stable internet, clean backdrop, and a quiet environment. I am going to be teaching with bright facial expressions using TPR and props. You saw that I already have a lot of props at the ready for this demo, and you will see as I record the mini demo how I use the props. And lastly, I'm gonna to try to have an engaging and passionate delivery with lots of energy. Okay, we have the helpful videos. So obviously watch all of these as many times as you need to absorb the tips and tricks, take notes on them, watch even more videos. There's a ton of videos from other interviewers giving their tips to you to help you pass the interview. Some of the missing information, like who do we contact in an emergency, things like that, I found sent to me in an email from Magic Years. Once I scheduled my demo, I received this email. It says that if you have any questions, use Ding Talk to contact your success manager. I had no idea what Ding Talk was, but I went ahead and clicked this link 
And this is all the software that is required from Magic Years. And you go down here and you click on Ding Talk. What does the demo actually entail? That's another question I have. And I learned from watching all the videos that the demo is going to include an interview of five minutes where they get to know us and then an eight minute demo followed by basically a one minute wrap up. To prepare myself for the interview, I Googled interview questions for Magic Ears and here pops up all of the questions from Glassdoors. So I'm going to do my due diligence and prepare answers for these as well as record myself giving the answers as well as the demo. Another unanswered question is what do we do with the teaching software once we've downloaded it? So I'm going to show you what I found. Obviously, uh, this is the first time I'm seeing and working with the teaching software, so I may have missed some things, but this is what I've gathered from uh, just playing around with it as well as the videos. So the email and password is going to be the same as the email and password that you created when you signed up for Magic Years. It logs us in and then about half the time it will come up with this device check pop-up. So it's going to check out your system. I've got a little check mark next to that, which I assume means good. And I'm going to click next camera. This is showing me the, my computer's camera because the Logitech is already in use. I say, yes, I can see headphones. I Welcome to magic ears. Hear that. Yes, I can hear, and then I can record myself. La 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 la. <laughs> I still have dreams of being a musician. Let's see, it should. La 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 la. Wow. Plays back for us. <laughs> Very nice. Yes, I can hear. Great. Congratulations. Come on, Magic Ears. Check that English. Device passed. Great. We go into preview. It verifies the class information. It initializes the classroom. Okay, and then it takes us here to our classroom. I assume that when I log in here for the demo class that the interviewer will also be here. I was told that they should appear somewhere over here. So we'll see if that's true uh, during the demo. Hello, I just wanted to quickly interject to clarify that my assumption was incorrect. This is only the preview classroom and the mini demo takes place in another classroom that opens up 10 minutes before your scheduled demo time. So don't be caught hanging out here waiting for your interviewer. Make sure that you enter the new classroom for your mini demo. So here you can click through the demo. It advises you to watch at least this video. I advise you, of course, to watch every video that they gave you because that's what they're there for. Here, we're supposed to play this video and sing a song. We play the video by clicking video and it starts the music and you dance and you do all these things. As you can see over here, we have the teacher instructions. Please play the song, sing along and dance with the rhythm. A few of the controls that are going to be useful for my demo is this one, which does not work. The three people. It doesn't work with just one in class. I've clicked it a hundred times. Uh, apparently, when my student slash interviewer is in the classroom, clicking this will drag me over here, and then I can drag the student up beside me, and that will make bo both of us big, and then I can interact with the student in more in more detail uh, i can drag myself back over here and it pops into this this window which is great um, clear all clears everything all the nonsense i've written this pen icon is going to be very useful i clicked the pen and highlighted it purple to start writing and then for the last slide let's see if we can navigate quickly to that Okay, for this last slide, uh, the, you have to flip over these cards and you can only do that by unhighlighting the pen. So it's gray now and then flipping the cards, clicking and flipping the cards over. Muting all, I assume we'll mute the, the student and then the trophy button will give a trophy, not that this also doesn't work. Uh, unless the student is here, allegedly. 
Uh, then this will minimize the window and maximize the window. Restart doesn't seem to do anything at all. <laughs> and that's about it. I think that's all the relevant things you need to know as far as how to navigate the software. In conclusion, as you are preparing for your Magic Years mini demo, be sure to follow all the steps outlined in the teacher's portal, pay attention to any email communication, and familiarize yourself with the teaching platform. As you are preparing for your class, be sure to follow all of the teaching instructions given on each slide. And when you're ready, record yourself giving the entire class so that you can review it and take notes on things that you can improve on. With all of the tips and tricks shared in this video, you are sure to be successful in your Magic Ears mini demo. If you are interested in teaching but have not yet signed up, please use our referral link in the description below. Stay tuned for the next video where you will see my Magic Ears demo in action. And until then, good luck and happy teaching!